um, pomegranate seed oil, grapefruit seed, grapefruit seed, grapefruit. Oh my God. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a PR unboxing. I haven't done one of these in quite a while, but that's because I don't get sent that much. Um, but yeah, I've been waiting to do this video for a couple months now. I didn't want to just do it on one thing. So I've waited for a few packages to arrive. Some of you guys have seen me use some of the products, so these have been used. It's not like a it's not really an unboxing like I open most of them, but I got a new package last night that was really exciting I was not really expecting I kind of forgot that it was being sent to me and I wanted to show that and decided to show some other things So let's get started with the oldest one that came a long time ago And I never totally forgot to do a video on it um, and this is from Juno and Co the box came like this with everything inside. It came with their beauty sponge. I'm going to do a video on this at some point. I keep forgetting to again, as I said. And it is the kind of microfiber foamy fabric sponge. It's very interesting. I tried it a couple times. Not 100% sure how I feel about it yet. Again, I also don't wear foundation, so I'm not necessarily the best person to judge this product. But I will do a more informed review on that soon. And then they sent a brush set as well. These I have not gotten to use yet. I have washed them, but I'm going to use them now that I have shown them in a video. I can finally actually start using them. So let's get rid of these little plastic covers. They're very soft. They're definitely synthetic. And yeah, pretty excited to use them. So those will be featured soon in an upcoming tutorial. And I believe these only retail on Juno's website. I don't think they're in stores yet at any, like, brick and mortar retailer yet. But I, again, will do a more informed review on these t uh, whenever I get a chance. Okay, so the next package was sent to me from Drunk Elephant. It looks like this. Cutest packaging of all time. The box is absolutely adorable. It has really bright colors for the presentation. Oh my gosh, they have like a nice card and then the products inside. In the PR package from Drunk Elephant, we received the brand new Proteiny Polypeptide Moisturizer. The Virgin Marula Face Oil. And the TLC Frambu's Glycolic Night Serum. So these three products are staples in my beauty routine. I've gone through countless bottles of the TLC and the Proteiny, I'm on my fourth jar right now absolutely obsessed with it. It's my favorite daytime moisturizer. TLC is an extremely, extremely effective glycolic serum that's not too harsh and not crazy. I mean, it's expensive, but it's not ridiculous comparative to some other things on the market that make similar claims but don't work as effectively or are not as natural. So, love Drunk Elephant as a line and yeah, super excited about that. You guys have seen their products featured in a skincare video of mine, so I don't need to do a dedicated video on those upcoming in the future. You've seen them before. So, moving on, the next three packages are from Urban Decay. And I thank my lucky stars because I'm so grateful, but I honestly have no idea how I got in their PR list. But I am very, very happy that I did because I've been getting some really amazing packages from them lately. And this one I'm going to be doing a give, actually the next two I'm going to be doing a giveaway of. And that is of the new Urban Decay Back Talk collection. So I received quite a few of the colors that um, came out with, or these are not new colors necessarily, but I'm going to be doing a giveaway of all of these eyeshadow or eyeliners. We have Heartless. Demolition, Roach, Alkaline, and Zero. These are part of the 24-hour Glide-On collection, so they're not new, but they're brand new in package. Never have been swatched, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway to one of you guys. Also, in the package, we received Back Talk, of course, the lipstick from the Vice collection. These are very creamy. This is, I believe, a matte finish. Yeah, it's their Comfort Matte Formula. Absolutely love it. Again, not opened. Packaging's really, really cute. And the lipsticks themselves are a really adorable, like, little bullet shape. I'll open it, but I won't swatch it or anything like that. Um, really adorable. Absolutely love them. This would look great on anyone's vanity if you're starting your collection or building it. 
And yeah, so I will have details in the giveaway for that so you guys can enter and whatnot. It's really easy. You don't have to do anything really. Um, and then the Backtalk palette itself. So this is a brand new one. I, for some reason, received double of this package. So I have all these for myself. So I was like, I don't need double of this package. But you, one of you guys will be receiving a brand new Backtalk palette. Fresh in the box. And... Yeah, I'll probably just use the same box that it came in to ship it, being a little ratchet there, but gotta save money. The next package that arrived was also a duplicate, and this one I'm going to be doing giveaway of also because I, one, don't use this product really in my makeup routine. I don't use them often, and the other reason, again, I, I got two. So that is the Hi-Fi High Shine Lip Lacquers. These are brand new, about a couple months ago launched in Sephora's. And it came in this really amazing package, super sleek, really cute. The little sticky is a mirror with a film on the back so you can take that off. Um, I'm going to reattach that for you before I ship it out. And this is hard to show so I might hold it in my lap. This is the entire collection of the new Vice lipsticks, or lip, um, lip glosses. So one of you guys will be getting the entire box with the entire range of colors. It is such stunning PR. I loved this box so much. They have the color shade behind them so you guys can organize them nicely. If you want to somehow display it at an angle or hang it, I don't know, whatever you want to do, but I thought the box was too cute to throw away or ship or break these up into some like smaller packages. So one lucky person will be getting the entire thing because this this has to just be on display. So if you guys get this, or one, whoever receives this, please do not throw this box out. Find some way to display this properly and proudly on your makeup vanity because it is just a beautiful, beautiful PR sample. Next thing we are going to look at is another package from Urban Decay. This is something that I am so thankful for. I really didn't think I was going to be getting this. Um, I, I was hoping, but when this palette launched in Sephora, I, into Sephora, I pretty much almost cried. I think it's my favorite palette that I own, and I said that in the first video where I introduced it. And the PR for this was just incredible. So it's in this, like, reminiscent of a vintage travel trunk that you'd bring on a long voyage and with, like, the riveting on the side, and then you open it up. So some of the things are missing because I wasn't planning on doing a video specifically dedicated to this. Um, like unboxing it because I got the package pretty late after the launch and it wasn't hyping that much on YouTube so it, I didn't feel it necessary. You guys had already seen it in a lot of other YouTubers videos. So I have already given away some of the shades that I wouldn't use but it came with three limited edition eyeliners. One was like a jade kind of green tone, the other one was like an amethysty purple and then two lipsticks with the limited edition uh, Born to Run um, packaging on it and then the Born to Run palette itself and it also came with a Born to Run setting spray that's over on my um, vanity right now and it's just a travel size of the Urban Decay All Nighter but with that packaging. So the lipsticks themselves are super adorable, really cute packaging, black tube so it's a little bit different than the Vice lipsticks but same formula and they are just super creamy, very pigmented. This is not a shade for me so I'm going to be gifting that to a friend who doesn't mind that I just <laughs> swatched that. And the next shade I am keeping, it's a metalized finish, so I really enjoy it because I can use it in different looks. It's just a really pretty red with a metallic finish and little bits of micro glitter of gold and crimson shade, I guess. Um, I'll be doing a look with this shortly. And then the last shade, or the eyeliner that I did decide to keep is the shade Lucky. It's a really pretty, um, or the other color that came in this was not an amethyst. It was Double Life, which is one of the colors in the palette. And Lucky is just a nice coppery shade, so I absolutely love that. I can get rid of these boxes. I've been holding onto these boxes for a long time. This one I'm probably going to get rid of just because it's so bulky. I don't know what to do with it, unless I can maybe take this part out and use the box for storage. Yeah, I'm going to not throw this out, actually. And then, of course, the Born to Run palette itself. So it comes in the unicorn in. And here it is! The packaging I'm just obsessed with. I love Polaroids. Um, growing up as a 90s baby where we didn't have, like, digital cameras. Um, isn't that crazy, you guys? Like, I remember the first, like, handheld digital... That's insane. Um, it was an Olympia? Or was it a night... That's reminiscing way too far back. I was really young. 
but and I'm sure a lot of you of my younger followers are like no digital camera what do you mean like a Polaroid but anyway I loved Polaroids and I had a lot of them in my room I had like printed pictures so this just reminds me of like high school and creating collages and it really is something that reminds me of traveling and it's a great palette for travel you have your selection of blendable nudes, some fun weird colors, and then your warm tones. Full size mirror, really, really sturdy product, um, packaging. Very good for travel, and again, it's born to run. So they knew people would be using this as their one palette to take on vacation, so it's not that cardboard texture. Very, very sturdy. Um, the one thing I'll say is it's super heavy, so if you are doing your makeup on the go, I probably would leave this on your lap and use like a bronzer compact to do your hand to hold as your mirror because this thing, like your wrist, and I sound so like, oh my god, it's so heavy. But like if you're doing a 30 minute eye look, it does kind of get a little annoying. That's a really, really nitpicking. But absolutely adore this and it will be a staple and I hope I never hit pan on any of the colors. Um, and yeah. So guys, we have made it to the last two things. Um, I do not have the package for um, either of these boxes, even though one of them I literally opened last night. Don't ask. Um, but this first thing is from Real Her. It is a newer, I believe, newer cosmetic line that is on only online. They are not in stores, I don't think. But they sell a wide variety of makeup for not very expensive. They're kind. Of, they're, I mean, they're more than drugstore, but they're not like. Dior or just crazy outrageous expensive which some niche brands are just because they are not backed by a big company They need to charge a little bit more sometimes so that's totally understandable and if the product quality is there then it's worth it But they sent me their I am beautiful mascara in this really really adorable black and rose gold unicorn packaging I love the theme and inside it is just a standard tube of black as black mascara with a it appears to be a volumizing wand, so I don't know if I'll necessarily like this mascara, but I will give it a go. And then their felt tip eyeliner. I've gotten a chance to use this a couple times. Um, it's not my favorite, and when I do a video on it, I'll go more in detail as to why it's not, but you can kind of... I'm, I'm gonna go into more detail about that later. But anyway, I don't really have too much to say about this because it's just a mascara and an eyeliner, so... I, again, will use these in a tutorial upcoming, probably not a dedicated, maybe a dedicated video. I probably will, actually. I'll do a completely dedicated video to those two products in the future. But, yeah, so let's move on to the last PR package that I received recently. Um, again, this came last night, and I don't know where the box is, and I didn't do trash today, so... It's fine. Alright, the last three items I received were from a company called Levito, inspired by nature. It appears to be a um, Jewish company. Is that what you say? A Jewish or a Hebrew? Like, what is the correct term? A Jewish? Kosher? I don't know. I'm gonna offend someone. I'm so sorry. But it appears that this product has some, in like, influence from the Jewish community because there is, um, there is a few Hebrew characters written down at the bottom. Right here, there's a little bit of Hebrew down there. Um, and yeah, so this is what the packaging look like. looks like. It has 10 natural plant extracts in there. And then it, oh yeah, distributed by Levito, USA, New York, made in Israel. So it's definitely a um, product that has a Jewish influence on it. And I mean, that's actually kind of really cool. I really haven't seen a company that specifically is made in Israel and maybe that's just me being very <laughs> um, brand loyal and being a Sephora employee. But anyway, it's not formulated with no mineral oil, petroleum, silicones, propylene glycol, animal testing, synthetic dyes, polyxenol, I can never say that, Phenoxy ethanol, um, synthetic alcohol, synthetic fragrance, parabens, no PEGs, SLS, and then it is, so there's no's and then yeses. So yes, herbally effective organic ingredients, pure natural fragrance, essential oils, cold pressed oils, and recyclable. And oh wow, they actually put an expiration date right here. So you of course always get the 12 month thing right here that tells you the product should be used within a year after opening, but you don't normally get its actual date of manufacture. So that is really cool actually. You don't have to go then look up the batch code and see if your 
12 months with an expiring product after opening was made three years ago. You know, you never, really, you never really know when a product was made unless you check the batch code, and this one actually tells you it will expire in 1020. So you have two years to use this product before it's completely bad, and you should use it within a year after opening. So as long as I use it within this year, that's perfect. So the first product that I'm holding right here is the 2-in-1 Purifying Facial Mask and Exfoliator. It has pomegranate seed oil, lemon, and macadamia. So I will definitely be using this tonight. Leave it on for 15 minutes and massage into the skin with circular motions, and then follow with their moisturizer. So this really seems like it's going to be extremely effective, and looking at the ingredients, it, they're completely right. Everything is natural. There's no crazy like extreme ingredients that you'd see in a lot of other products, or alcohol, or fragrance. and. Yeah, really excited to use this. So the next thing in their line that they sent me is the Age Away Hydrating Cream. It's, oh, I didn't even show you the thing. Sorry. Comes in packaging like this. Really cute, travel friendly, small, sleek. It has kind of a mattified texture, so I really like, just feels nice in the hand. And, and then um, the next thing again is their Age Away Hydrating Cream with Evening Primrose Seed, Sea Buckthorn, and Pumpkin Seed. And here, oh wow, so this is a hefty jar, this comes with 1.69 fluid ounces, so it's not a 2 ounce, but it's not a 1 ounce, either. that's kind of a weird amount, that's kind of strange, but um, you just want to open it up, ooh, it smells really nice, it has a bright yellow tint to it, and I know there's no dyes, so we don't have to worry about that being from like red like 40 mixed with whatever you know like crazy stuff to make this yellow tint but it's for normal to dry skin and i know since dating billy i've now been saying skin y'all like it's the southern's rubbing off on me he's from oklahoma but anyway i <laughs> i'm really excited to try this so i may be switching out actually i just ran out of my nighttime moisturizer i finished my cold plasma from paracone so I will be incorporating this into my routine. So excited. So I'm going to hold on to these boxes so I can do a dedicated video on this once I test these out a little bit more. And then, did you hear it? Like, God, oh my God. Um, this is the Renewal Neck Cream. Oh my gosh. I have been in need of a neck and decollete area cream because um, I've been using my Gold Plasma, which is so fucking goddamn expensive. Um, so really, really happy about this. It's formulated with pomegranate seed, rosehip, and citrus. And again, it has none of those bad things in it, all the great things. And then this one, um, again, has the expiration. It seems like these are all made from the same batch uh, lot number. And then ingredients, water, aloe vera, leaf juice, um, isopropyl mir mirastrate, which is like a, I can't remember what it is. I've been not in aesthetic school for a long time. Um, pomegranate seed oil, grapefruit seed, grapefruit seed, grapefruit, oh my god, grapefruit seed oil, um, evening primrose, rose hip, vitamin E, ooh, great, coconut oil. So this is a super oil heavy moisturizer. I definitely wouldn't want to put this on my face. So I'm glad this is a neck dedicated cream. And if we look at the ingredients on the other one, uh, water, isopropyl meal restraint, Caprolic triglycerides, that's like a coconut derivative, cetero alcohol, cetero glucoside, sesame seed, vitamin E, benzyl alcohol, salicylic acid, vegetable glycerin, sorbic acid, evening primrose, sea buckthorn, rosemary. So with the neck, the age away hydrating, I'm this might have a little bit too much oils in me. In me. Oh my god. In the formula for me. But, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna switch out my, 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 <laughs> oh, why do you guys watch me? I'm going to attempt to <laughs> finish the sentence fucking in one go. I'm gonna try switching this into my nightly routine tonight, <laughs> and I will let you guys know in a dedicated video how I'm liking the Levito line, if I think it is Will Approved, I'm not Jeffree Star. <laughs> God, the end of this is awful. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I really, I really want to give these a good, fair go. And yeah, I, what is going on? I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on right now. I just am so giggly. 
Colorado. But anyway, I think this is a really awesome pack. So guys, I'm gonna go clean up all these boxes now. I don't think I even finished what I was saying on this. That got so goofy. Thank you to all of the brands who sent me products to try out. I'm so sorry again to any that I'm getting to very, very late. I, I'm so just unorganized, it's ridiculous. But again, I will get to doing dedicated videos on things that I said I was going to. And then the giveaway, which I'm sure you guys are like, can you just fucking get to it now? Because it's been half an hour. Um, to do, <laughs> so guys, I'm picking one winner for the Hi-Fi Shine Lip Lacquer Set. So if you're a lipstick lover, listen up for the next few seconds for the details on this guy. Um, you must, for both entries, be subscribed to my YouTube. But for this guy, go to my Instagram. I will have a picture of this on my channel or on my feed coming up after this video is uploaded with this posted. You guys just have to comment and like the photo and also follow me on Instagram if you are not already. And then I'll be picking from Instagram one winner for this and I'll DM you so that we can get your address in a safe, secure way. And if you're younger, get your parents' permission. I like will want their permission to send this to you. And yeah, so that's how you win this guy. Again, be subscribed to my YouTube channel, go to the Instagram picture and like and comment on it so I can see your name. And then make sure you're followed on Instagram. If you're not, that is gonna disqualify you. You can't just go like this and um, whatever, you know, like it and comment. I'm gonna have that in the description of the photo too. But yeah. Moving on to win the Back Talk palette, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are a little bit more excited than the lipsticks. This comes with everything that I showed you. So all of the eyeliners, the Back Talk lipstick, and the Back Talk face and eye palette. This will be going to one lucky winner as well. And to win this, all I require is that you be subscribed to my YouTube channel and you leave a comment on this video telling me which shade of eyeliner or which color in the palette you're most excited to use if you are so lucky to receive it. And this giveaway will be open for approximately three weeks guys so I don't know what today is and that doesn't matter because I will for sure not be finishing the editing of this video because I want to make it a good one for you guys will not be done for at least a few days so a month or three weeks from the time of the upload of the video that you see below the description of the video is when the giveaway will be closed um, so if you're looking at this video after just look at that little date if it's past please don't continually enter in the giveaway but yeah, I am so excited to be sharing some of these amazing products with you guys. They are so fun. I've been loving them. And I think one of you guys is going to be really happy to, or both of you guys, whoever receives them, are going to be super happy to receive them and incorporate them into your makeup routine. I want to see some cool looks, so tag me in photos. Tag, um, and also tag Urban Decay to show the love. I wouldn't be able to give these to you guys without their support. And then thank you to all of the other brands again. This is such an amazing opportunity and privilege that YouTubers have who are per who get to a point to receive PR. It's something that a lot of us take for granted for, but it is so amazing and I hope that I can introduce some of these amazing brands to you guys and build their business and success. And I will see you guys in my next one. And until then, bye.